So I'm up here on the good roads with my buddy Mike Kovac. We've got two really awesome new cars here today. On the left we've got the 2016 Ford Focus RS, 350 horsepower, all-wheel drive, uh, turbo four-cylinder motor. And on the right we've got the BMW M2 with twin turbo six-cylinder, about 375 horsepower to the rear wheels. Um, it's a little more of an unconventional comparison, but uh, because the power numbers are similar and because we've been able to borrow them from the Classic Car Club, Mike and I are going to take them out on the twisty roads and uh, see how they do. The goal here today is to, is to help Mike figure out which car he wants to take home tonight. Mike, so we've just spent a couple hours driving these cars. You're sitting in the Focus RS now. What do you think? I think it's freaking brilliant. Um, you know, for everybody that's been waiting for a modern day successor to the Lancia Delta Integrale, this is it. It doesn't cost a fortune. I get in this car and I just want to drive. I mean, I got adrenaline coursing through my veins right now like you wouldn't believe. I don't know if you can see the, the blood swelling into my cheeks because this thing feels alive through the corners. It's got awesome brakes, the right amount of power, and it just it just feels right. I really like this car. So you drove the Focus RS first, you're in the 2016 M2 now, what do you think? I gotta say, um, when, you, when you get in the Focus RS, you know, its intentions are clear immediately. It, it wants to get on a track somewhere, it wants you to drive as hard as possible. You get into this, its intentions are a little bit more cagey. You're not quite sure what to make of the car at first because it almost has, you know, it has some of the overtones from the 5 Series and the 7 Series with the interior and the suspension damping. But the harder you push this car, you really start feeling the motorsport coming through. And you can tell, you know, BMW really wanted to bring back some of the iconicness of the E30 M3 and put it into kind of the feel of this car. Um, at the, you know, I'm not crazy about the steering feel. Not really quite sure what the front end's going to do, uh, but I think uh, I think on a track, you know, a lot of that confidence would would come through. Mike, it's decision time. You know, it's it's a really tough decision we got to make. Uh, we spent all day with two amazing cars. The M2 over there was supposed to be my hero car, and it's good at so many things. Um, it does everything you ask it to do. 
It's got elements of some of the older generation motorsport products in there, but at the end of the day, it's a little soft, it's a little flabby. I'm gonna go for the hot hatch.